Welcome to my channel. Please enjoy the video. What is going on my tea sippers? I am back with another video. And as we all know, Duke the Drooler was murdered in Texas. He's originally from Chicago. But guys, what I'm going to explain in the commentary of this video is going to shock you. And I'm not talking with the feds or the police. I have a very, very close source to Chicago, in which the city I was born and raised and I currently reside now. And this information is very exclusive. So I want you guys to keep on watching and keep on being awake and just listen to what I got to say. Because there are a lot of things that's been said and a lot of actions that prove that one party is actually guilty. However, t sippers has anyone noticed, first of all, Duke the Drooler is only being addressed in the public as Duke the Drooler. You can Google and they've not even announced this young man's first and last name. However, that is in preparation of the family because they are on their way to Texas as we speak to identify the body and then his real name will be released. However, I already know that information. I have people that actually know him and I didn't even know who he was, but I know exactly who he is now. And this man not only has connections in Chicago, he has connections in other cities, states and countries. And when I'm talking about connections, it's much deeper than the eyes could ever see or even deeper than the ears could ever hear. Now guys, I want you to pay attention to what I'm about to say because this shit goes deep. It's not about a rabbit hole, it's just about the truth and I'm going to expose it right now. Truth is, there is a rapper and this rapper has not even spoken came for it. This rapper was actually dealing with Duke the Jeweler. This rapper actually referred Boosie to Duke the Jeweler. Bootsy actually started following Duke the Drooler on Instagram. Fact number one, guys. Bootsy actually started following Duke the Drooler on Instagram. Duke the Drooler never even followed Bootsy on Instagram. And I'm just going to lay it out like this. He wasn't following him within days of coming to Texas or even months. Bootsy had been following him once he got his account back. But... Actually, Boosie was following him with the old account. Now, T-Sippers, what I'm trying to get you guys to understand, Duke the Jeweler was promoting his brand. His brand was selling jewelry, not shooting dice. Bootsy actually contacted Duke the Jeweler, and I'm just going to keep this at a ledge, and everything is alleged until proven otherwise in the public eye and even on this channel. Now, according to my personal source, Boosie actually contacted Duke the Jeweler and told him he wanted to get a piece made, and this was not not Sunday night guys. This had even been a year ago or even months prior to and up to this young man's death. So prior to when Duke the Driller had time to actually make it to Texas, he wasn't coming to Texas to go to no goddamn concert or shoot any dice. Now for all of my real tea sippers, stay with me guys. Cause I'm about to blow the lid off and Bootsy's ass is going to hate me personally from this day forward. However, I don't give a fuck because you are savage as fuck and not in a good way. Now guys, according to my source, remember Bootsy spoke of this guy making a piece for him. See, truth has it that the piece was already made. Bootsy had already seen the piece and it wasn't posted on social media. So like I said in the first video, guys, of this commentary that I made, Bootsy actually invited not only Duke the Jeweler to his concert or to the dice game. Bootsy was the one and the only one that invited Duke the Jeweler to Texas. Why? Because Duke the Jeweler thought that him and Bootsy was handling some business. He actually thought that Bootsy was going to purchase his name. So to just speak in latent terms for the soul people in the comment section who's taking up in dick riding for Bootsy, Bootsy actually lured this guy to Texas on the guys that he was going to buy the piece that the guy had made for him. And guys, let me make one thing perfectly clear. That was not Bootsy's home in Atlanta. However, Bootsy's name is on that rental house. And allegedly, guys, it was a house being rented by Airbnb. And once again, this is according to my personal source. And I trust my source. 
And according to this source, Tea Sippers, Booty had already spoke with you on several occasions. Now, Tea Sippers, let me refresh in your memory. Remember the picture that Booty took in his underwear standing next to Duke the Jeweler? That was actually a promotional picture. And that promotional picture was actually making Duke think that Booty was going to do business with him after the concert. So Duke the Jeweler, under his impression Booty gave him, actually thought that the Dice Gang was like a recreational activity before the concert. Kind like this is how the guys hang out before the actual concert however guys we never seen Boosie shoot any dice on public camera before any fucking concert and I'm not saying that this has never happened but this is according to the source once again now people are asking why would Duke the Jeweler feel comfortable enough to wear all of his jewelry Actually, guys, once again, he was promoting his brand. He was in the presence of celebrities and he thought, well, Bootsy led him on and under the guise that we got your back. You're going to promote your brand and I'm going to buy a piece from you. And after that, other rappers and other rappers around me are going to buy pieces as well. So in closing with the first part of this video, guys, Bootsy actually personally invited Duke the Drooler out to promote him. He actually promised to purchase the train from him sometime after the concert that him and Prize had at that theater. And people are asking, and everyone should wake up and understand, why would a Drooler travel alone to go and see a famous world renowned rapper named Bootsy Badass without any security or any bodyguards. Once again, T Sippers, Bootsy had been in personal communication with this jeweler. He told the jeweler that he was going to buy a piece from him. And that's how the conversation ended. So to sum it all up, guys, Duke the jeweler was actually visiting Bootsy in Texas because Bootsy was supposed to buy a piece from him. Now I'm going to bust Bootsy badass the fuck out. Because remember, guys, Bootsy himself came on Instagram and did a lie and told everybody he had just, we actually just met him Sunday. When in fact, Bootsy had already spoke to him and met him face to face but he wants to say that he just met him on that Sunday but he actually had contact with him before he even got to Texas and according to my source tea sippers Bootsy actually once again invited Duke the jeweler to Texas to purchase a piece so in fact guys Duke the jeweler was in Texas to meet Bootsy badass to sell him a piece and this was a business venture this was not anything other than that now, t Sipper, stay with me because I'm going to show you guys and prove to you guys in Bootsy's own words how he actually fucked up the whole setup. Bootsy actually fucked up with the whole setup by telling what the setup was before the police were even able to investigate and come to any conclusion. Now, in the first video, if you guys haven't seen it, Bootsy came out and said that the dude came out. We were in the garage. He walked to his car and we heard gunshots. He actually thought they were firecrackers is what he told Vlad TV. Now, remember, Bootsy is supposed to be a killer, so he knows exactly how firecrackers sound versus gunshots. Now, this rapper, Bootsy, so called badass takes himself on flat TV and actually states that Duke the Driller was actually losing and actually lost the game. And guys, we know that this is not true. Duke the Driller in the video was actually the one counting all of this money more than anybody else. Everybody else's hands were empty. And you guys want to know why Bootsy and his little cousin had no money? Because once again, Duke the Driller thought he was doing business with Little Bootsy and this was just a recreational activity to actually shoot dice. Do you guys really think that this man came all the way out there to shoot dice and meet Little Bootsy and go to his concert? No, this was actual business proposition that Duke the Driller actually thought because Bootsy lured him there. So to sum it all up guys, Bootsy actually set everything up. Jay Prince was not involved and this is just my opinion. Jay Prince was actually a fucking prop to make him think there were actually bosses in the building. There was nothing for him to worry about. Now, like I stated T Sippers, Sweet TTV sees all and Sweet TTV knows all. I'm going to break down why Bootsy was standing behind this young man. He was in fact counting his money. The setup had already been set. Now according to the source and what I share with you guys that actually 
actually Boosie invited this young man to Texas. They had a business venture. Boosie was standing behind him, of course, pocket watching and watching this man's money. But on top of that, the young man felt confident knowing that Boosie was standing right next to him. And for all of the bloggers who are alleging that Boosie actually lost his money in the dice game, Boosie never played the dice game because Boosie made him think that this in fact was a recreational activity before his concert or before he purchased the chain. And in fact, the ploy was that Boosie was to stand behind him, which proved that this guy was in Texas to only see Bootsy. So put it all together, T-Sippers. Bootsy takes a promotional picture with a jeweler. We know that Bootsy loves his chains. Boosie invited this man to Texas under the guise that he was going to purchase a train that they talked about and that he made on Instagram. They had many conversations. Boosie, I know the source. Please don't let me pull up the conversation between you and him on Instagram because I will. This is not a threat, but I'm just sharing it with the public. They need to know the truth. And for all that knick-knack, paddywhack, give a dog a bone bullshit that you went to run on Vlad TV and talk about, I've never heard a killer snitch before he actually gets arrested. And like one other blogger says, Boosie never spoke on anybody's, but he spoke on this one. And I find it quite strange that his only 19-year-old cousin was involved, and you guys can clearly see on the picture, that the cousin watched this man the whole time, and it wasn't in a happy greeting. The cousin knew that Boosie invited this man out there and the cousin knew exactly what his job was to do and he went through on it. The GMC and everything connects the cousin and the cousin connects to Boosie. But Boosie knows that the cousin won't rat him out. Or will he? You guys stay tuned because I'm going to dig as much as I can and get more information and share with you guys. Because Boosie ass is going down. He's a fucking snake and I hope he's arrested. Guys, I'll catch you on the next video.